Welcome to the grinding, pounding world of handmade knives, where Bob Kramer has forged a distinguished reputation. How good are you at what you do? Pretty good. <laughs> uh, pretty good. Talk about understatements. The 51-year-old Kramer is so good that his premium knives sell for $300. An inch, that's $2,400 for your basic eight-inch chef's knife. His handcrafted blades, so much in demand, that the wait for one is 14 months and growing. Pretty good for a guy who early in life struggled with dyslexia and what to do with himself. I bounced around. I mean, it was a bit like a pinball game. I was trying to figure out how to fit in and what I was going to do. Kramer worked as a clown in the Ringling Brothers Circus. He took up sailing, spent time as a chef and a traveling knife sharpener. And then one day, looked at knives in a whole new way as something he could make. I thought, this is great. I'm hooked. This is a beautiful skill. No one can take it from me. This was a fraternity that I wanted to belong to. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Bob, and I'm addicted to knives. He not only um, belongs, he's a star. When he's not making knives, he's on the road teaching knife skills. I want to cut the skin off and then get rid of the core. So I'm going to use a narrower knife. And promoting his less costly retail line of kitchen cutlery. Kramer is not just a knife maker. He's a master bladesmith, one of only 114 in the world, an honor earned after passing a rigorous examination by the American Bladesmith Society, including forging a variety of knives from raw steel and putting one of them to the test. I'm gonna cut this rope with one swipe, hopefully. That's the first part of the test. Severing a one inch rope, chopping through a two by four, and still having a sharp enough edge to shave the hair on his arm, and then demonstrating the blade's flexibility by putting it in a vise and bending it 90 degrees without breaking it. 90 degrees, no breaking. For fun, Kramer threw in cutting paper and slicing water bottles. Water, anyone? And that was after he'd used the same knife to cut into a bolt. You can see there's no damage to the edge of the knife. Kramer makes his knives up to five a week at his foundry and workshop on the edge of Olympia, Washington with the help of one employee. Producing his premium knives, the Damascus steel blades, involves fusing several grades of steel in a furnace running 2,500 degrees hot, pounding the glowing mass into shape with a mechanical hammer, eventually cutting and grinding the blade into final form. It's tough. It's hard on your eyes. It's hard on your elbow, on your wrist. It's hard on your ears. You have to wear a respirator. So it's a very dirty environment. Heirloom beauty forged in fire and revealed in an acid bath. And this is basically like our developer. If we had a negative, we'd put it in here to develop. What develops on the blade surface are exotic random patterns that resulted from mixing the steels and compressing them into an incredible 400 ultra-thin layers. Each blade, some 25 hours in the making, is unique. I've spent three days before just forge welding and folding steel to achieve a particular pattern. Later, Kramer adds his name and a handle crafted from box elder wood and revels in the magic of this life he's carved out. I make knives so that people can enjoy using those tools to make food, nourishment for their friends and family. It's great. For Bob Kramer, the greatest little show on earth.